Boredom can be a serious problem for house cats. In this video, we're going to take a look at four easy ways for you to play with your cats in ways that don't take a lot of time. My name is Francisco and welcome to my channel, Nine Lives to Live, where Mr. Muffin, Calypso, Skyfall and I help you improve the lives of your cats. House cats don't live in a natural environment. They live inside a house, not out in the wild. And this creates special needs which we need to provide for. In this video, we're going to take a look at four easy ways that don't take a lot of time for you to be able to play with your cats a little bit more. Cats find pleasure in playing because it is a type of hunting for them. And for them, hunting uh, provides dopamine, which is what gives them pleasure. Just the same way we find pleasure for our entertainment and um, video games and things like this. They're naturally hunters. And uh, in most people's homes, there's not a lot of animals to hunt. Unless you have mice or crickets or something else, um, they don't have that stimulation. So we need to provide that. Problem is, we don't have a lot of time. We have work, kids, chores, a lot of other things to do, and the time that we allot for our cats and playing with them tends to be small. So anytime we can grab a little bit of time to help them play, the better. Many toys that are made tend to provide similar routines, and that bores them very quickly, because in the wild, they normally don't... Calypso, thank you. In the wild, uh, they normally don't have repetitive action. And so it's the surprise that uh, makes them interested. Which means that you, as uh, the cat parent or as the owner of the cats, need to be able to provide that surprise, need to provide that personal attention. You might already be doing a lot of these things. But one of the things I find my cats really enjoy is changing the sheets of the bed. Every time that I change the sheets, they like to get underneath, they like to play on top, they like it when I uh, make uh, sounds underneath the sheets as I'm putting them on. The whole experience is pleasurable for them. Now, I know this is only once a week, but once a week is something. It's better than nothing. So once a week or as often as you change your sheets, invite them, take a little extra time to play with them. It won't take a lot of, out of time out of your day, but it'll certainly improve, help improve their lives. A second easy tip, which is related, is making the bed. And this happens every day. So uh, again, if you can play with them while you're making the bed, I know my cats enjoy it. And I take extra time to put my hands under the sheets, under the blankets, make little sounds like as, as if I were a little animal, something that they can hunt, and they really enjoy that. They like to listen for the sounds, they like to, to watch the little bit of movement. For them, that's, as, that's cl much closer to hunting than other games, because that's how they hunt. They sit still, they stalk, or they listen for the sounds of little animals and wait for them to uh, appear. Now, different cats like different things, and Mr. Muffin, in particular likes playing uh, while making the bed and he has a he has a very soft touch his uh, he doesn't bite hard he doesn't scratch uh, so for me playing with him under the blankets is not a problem now for those of you who have um, cats that are a little bit more aggressive or haven't learned how to mind their claws a friend of mine has a cat like that a bat scratcher will help put this under the sheets, put this under the blankets and make the little screechy sounds or something like this, that way they won't be attacking your hands. And if you don't have a back scratcher, which is very nice, uh, a wooden spoon will work just fine. Get a long handled wooden spoon, $1 at the dollar store, and you can do the same thing. A third easy way to play with your cats is while sorting the laundry. Uh, I know my cats love to sort, uh, love it while I sort, sort the laundry, especially if it's warm. 
They want to get stick their heads in there. They want to play with it. As I move things around, they like to bat it around. Now I know you're thinking, okay, I'm going to get cat hair all over my laundry. Well, uh, there's two ways to deal with that. One, some of the laundry, at least for me, doesn't really matter. It's underwear, socks, things that doesn't matter if they'll see, if, if, their cat, if cat hair gets on them. Of course, if you are uh, washing clothes for work or for events or things that uh, you will need to look your best, this is not a game for those times. Another way that I uh, work around that is I have a special cloth, in this case an old towel, that I wash every time and I help, I use that to play with the cats. This way they can primarily focus on playing with that particular cloth instead of getting their fur all over everything else. Now this is a solution for some of you. For others of you, the idea of letting them play with your laundry is gonna be crazy. So uh, use it if you think it's helpful. A fourth easy way to play with your cats is by making a little string toy. I know that a lot of you think, well, that's just uh, the way uh, that they normally play. But this string toy would be something that you attach to your belt. And as you walk around the house doing regular chores, just let them follow it. I normally attach something to the end of the string that makes a little bit of noise. Uh, I like pieces of plastic, but you can change that up because again, the type of noise that it would make is going to add variety. So a little piece of plastic, um, a piece of crumpled paper, uh, some tin foil. The string should be about six feet long and I put it on a clip just in case uh, it gets snagged on something or they snag it, it can pop out if necessary. The last thing you want to do is get snagged when you're at the top of the stairs and about to go down, for example. By having a string attached to you as you do your chores around the house, you will create unexpected motion, which is what they like. They don't want the same thing over and over again. Something that will move when they don't expect. All of that creates variety, which is really what uh, drives the pleasure uh, in cats because animals in the wild, which we are mimicking when we play, don't do the same thing. You can do all of these things on a regular basis and they will take very little extra time from you. But I'm sure they will add a lot of pleasure to the lives of your cats. If you have other ways to keep your cats entertained and keep them from getting bored, please share in the comments below. If you like this video, please take a look at some of the other videos on my channel.